Hey, what up, what up, what up? I'm Ken Ivey, CEO of Hip Hop Fraternity HHL, and I would like to say thank y'all for tuning in. Today, the subject is, why shouldn't you argue with a woman? One of the reasons why you shouldn't argue with a woman is because she's 70% emotion and 30% stability. You, 30% emotion, 70% stability. For emotionally, she is more equipped to deal with situations. You know, women are very, very analytical, and they can uh, think all the way through the wall, you know, they can think all the way to the end. And men, you know, we are sporadic and spontaneous. So a lot of times, you know, you try to have a spontaneous situation, you know, and you're trying to deal with something that's been well analyzed with a spontaneous response and you never get to the results. So sometimes, man, if a woman come at you and she asking you some questions and she talking about this and, and you feel like it's about to turn into an argument, hey man, the best thing to do it's just say, I understand, you're right, we're going to work on this, uh, let's get this right. Because if you try to debate with a woman, you're going to lose. God gave a woman the same thing as he gave a skunk, a white strike and a belly full of funk. So the funk is what keep the skunk, you know, from being attacked. He shoot that funk at you, you smell that funk, you be like, I don't want none of that. Well, a woman, you know, is very analytical, she's very thoughtful, I mean, she's very mentally equipped. So... Those are her uh, defense mechanisms, you know, to survive in this world, you know. And men, you know, we are more like laborers, you know, we work hard, you know, we uh, create stability, you know, we bring stableness to the crib, to the home, you know. So that's what our, pretty much our, our duties are as men, you know. And our counterparts, you know, their duty is to think, you know, to take care of the children, you know, to raise the children. You know, and to, you know, they work jobs as well, you know, but most women, you know, they can't do a lot of heavy lifting. So they do a lot of mental lifting. So they mentally, you know, sharp, you know, mentally equipped, you know. So when you argue with a woman, you got to look at it like this. She's already been analyzed everything about the argument. She didn't look at your uh, phone. She didn't look at the receipts in your pocket. She didn't analyze everything. So she already, you know, uh, she, she, she's got her defense. She's got her, uh, she didn't mount her defense. She know how she's going to approach it. So it's like an airplane. You know how an airplane, before it lands, it, it goes around? Well, that's how a woman is. Before she hits you with the bomb, she's going to go around in circles and talk about other things and tell you how you doing and, you know, are you hungry? And then next thing you know, bam, she's going to land. You know, once she land, you know, she gonna land with that atomic bomb and you ain't gonna be able to handle it. You know, you're gonna have shock value. So, you know, you're gonna be shocked. So, you know, the best thing to do is what I do is sometimes I tone tone the situation. I put on some T.D. Jakes or some Joe Osteen, you know, or some, um, you know, uh, Cliff, Do Cliff O'Dollar or, you know, uh, some uh, Jamal Bryant. Just listen to something, you know, something positive, something spiritual. So. I can get that energy out of there. You know, I can calm her down, you know, because once she calm down, she cool. Because I guarantee you, if your woman come at you foul and you give her about 20, 30 minutes, she gonna be okay. You know, so I just gotta chill, man. But all that physicality, putting your hand on your woman and all that stuff, man, that stuff never worked. You can beat a woman all day. After a while, she'll become immune to that, that butt whooping. She'll probably try to start fighting you. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all seen these little skinny women, man. These dudes, big old dudes be beating on next day. You know, they jump up and just start fighting back. And shocks these men. They be like, man. You know, but, you know, you don't want to do that, man. That's not cool. You know, we ain't going to be physical. You know, just go somewhere and chill. And, uh, you know, let her get her little roll off. You know, let her say what she have to say. You know, tone it out. You know what I'm saying? Be disciplined, you know. Be analytical, be thoughtful, you know, make logical decisions, you know what I'm saying, play chess and not checkers. Don't get caught up in the raft, you know, and uh, remember, you know, that uh, a temporary pleasure is not going to be worth the permanent uh, problem. So, you know, you catch more flies with honey than you do with vinegar. But sometimes you just got to let the situation work itself out, you know. Argument ain't never going to be the answer. You don't even argue with a fool because if you argue with a fool from a distance, they don't know who a fool you or the person you argue with from a distance, both of y'all look like a fool. So tonight, y'all come to King of Diamonds. 
It's Friday night. It's birthday bash. We're going to be in there, HHF, you know, Vion, the liquor, you know what I'm saying, is our sponsor. So we're going to be drinking liquor all day on my man, NPR, Richie Rich, you know what I'm saying, me and Vion. Hey, man, Monday, every Monday, we at Club Silk, 2930 Amber Drive, straight across from South Dakota Mount, right next to Chit Chat. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to be going down. Y'all make sure y'all show up and show out, man. Hey, man, and everybody get in free. Everybody get to perform for free. And everybody get to park for free. And the same thing at KOD tonight. You know what I mean? Y'all come on in for free. Just say y'all HHL. Come to our VIP and it's on and popping. Hey, man, y'all make sure y'all go get my new book, The Art of Human Chess and uh, The 48 Laws of Game, Pepology at Amazon.com or go to Audible.com if you want the audio book and enjoy the books. Thank you, Hip Hop Fraternity, HHF. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy, Pepe Kim. Man, I want y'all to go get my new book, The 48 Laws of the Game, Pepology, man. This is the book that everybody is reading. They love it in the prisons and selling all over the world. Everything that your father, your uncle didn't teach you, this book will. This will give you a whole lot of game, and it's for men and women. And if you want to be a winner, go get my other book, The Art of Human Chess. It's a bestseller. Both of my books are bestsellers. And if you want to get the book, just go to thehiphopfraternity.com. Go to the link, books, and hit the word, hit book. If that don't work for you, go to amazon.com. If that don't work, go to audible.com. Type in my name, Pippa Ken. I guarantee you that the book will pop up. You just order the book. We got the audio book. We got the hardcover. We got the paperback. Anything you need, just go to any one of those platforms. Barnes & Noble's Books A Million. Hit the book.